welcome to my youtube channel powerpoint university in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to create this uh, gears or wheel infographic slide as you can see here i have added four options and you can see these arrows here this is arrow number one and you can add your headline here and the detailed text then you can add your icon here then the two three and four and in the middle i have added a small gear and on outside is a bigger a gear and then it's supporting by the small gears in the background and when i click it will start uh, rotating you can see here so i have added one more slide where it looks something like this when i click it will rotate more fastly so let's see how to create this uh, gear infographic slide in powerpoint add a new slide and change the background color to gray and go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes under basic shapes select the circle hollow and using the shift key draw the circle and i'm going to make this as 4.6 height and width and then align center align middle and you can reduce the width by dragging this uh, orange pointer inside maybe this much is okay shape outline make it no outline then i'm going to cut this into four small parts then for that go to insert shapes and i'm going to select under block arrows this particular uh, arrow chevron and just draw this arrow reduce the width and put it exactly here shape outline make it no outline shape fill let me just give some different color press ctrl d and using the alt and the right arrow key you can just rotate it and put it here then control d again alt and the right arrow key i'm just going to put it here then control d and rotate it i'll put something like this then i'm going to select all of these or you can just press ctrl a to select it go to format merge shapes either you can just say a subtract or better to say a fragment then delete the unwanted areas here And you can see here now these are the four different arrows here let me just change the color to some other color here and we can change to different colors later on now i'm going to create uh, this particular uh, gear a wheel for that i'm going to add a new slide let me just delete this then go to insert shapes under flowchart select this flowchart terminator just draw the terminator maybe a bigger size shape outline make it no outline and align center align middle and press ctrl d to duplicate and this also align center and align middle then using the alt and the right arrow key i'll just press like this two times again ctrl d one two times ctrl d alt two times ctrl d alt right arrow key two times and ctrl d two times you got something like this then go to insert shapes 
I'm going to select an oval shape, draw the oval shape by holding the shift key and give some different color shape outline, make it no outline, align center, align middle. So you can see here, I'm just going to select all. I can simply just say union. We can see here our wheel is ready. I'm going to copy this uh, gear or wheel control C go to our slide and control V paste and hold the shift key and reduce the size. Then you can just say align center and align middle and I'm going to give this as a white color. Then I'm going to select each right mouse click go to format shape and give some different color of your choice first color maybe this is my second color i will select this is the third color maybe this is the fourth color so you can see here i have just then i'm just going to add one more circle go to insert shapes and select a circle or draw a small circle while holding the shift key and put it exactly in the center align center align middle shape outline make it no outline and you can give some different color and go to shadow i'm going to use something which is inside center and you can increase the blur size and somewhat transparency I'm going to copy this wheel and out make it outside. I'll just select this both control D to duplicate it. Then I'll select this and then the circle. I can go to format merge shape and just say subtract. So that particular thing has been removed and holding the shift key. I can increase the size and align center align middle and i can just send this to back or you can increase the size a little bit more align center align middle here if you want you can see here i have just added one more layer here we can see here there's one more layer If you want, you can add the same layer for this also. Let me just do it. I will select this, press Ctrl G and Ctrl D to duplicate it. And I'm going to fill this color with some gray. And I can increase the size a little bit. And send to back. So you can just rotate it. This also you can rotate it. And then you can, if you want, you can add more smaller wheels here like this. So let me just delete this and then we will give the text and the animation to it. So let me just increase the size of this outer gear hold the shift key and increase the size then align center align middle and I'm just going to give this some a little bit of outline and then I'm going to select all control G and you can reduce the size because this is very big format align center align middle and then you can ungroup it so uh, let's uh, give the uh, text first and then we can give the animation so let me add the text go to insert text box and i will just say a zero one make it bold increase the size and I will change the font to Century Gothic and I will paste it here. This is one. If you want to make it 
white font control D this will be 2 control D this will be 3 and this will be 4 and if you want you can add the icons also let me just add some more shapes here I'll just say headline 01 I'm going to use the same color so for that I can go to format shape fill and using the eyedropper I'll just select this shape outline make it no outline and go to insert text box type your detail text here reduce the size and you can copy it here and let me just make it somewhat gray so this is my headline one i'll group it ctrl g ctrl d to duplicate this is for my second headline ctrl d this is for my third headline ctrl d this is for fourth and i'm just going to change the color based on this color selection So this will be my headline 2, headline 3 and headline 4 and then you can insert using this particular connectors. I can just select this and shape you can give any shape or you can give some black only. Control D, I'll select this and this will be for this. Control D, and lastly, this one. Now let's do the animation part. First I'm going to select this particular gear and go to animations, enable the animation pane, add animation, I'll select the spin. You can see it started spinning. Double click, timing, make it very slow and repeat until end of the slide. And if you want, you can add some effects, but so first is a amount which is i'm saying full spin clockwise click ok and then i'm going to copy this particular animation for the bigger this and this i will say double click counter clockwise and say ok and this should happen with previous and when i play you can see here it's both spinning in the opposite a direction and I'm just going to use this also to spin for that let me just use the same animation painter for this and this also should be with previous now if I play you can see here it is playing rotating in this particular direction Again, if you need to add more gears, I can just simply select this, press Ctrl D to duplicate it, reduce the size and format, shape, fill, you can give some light colors or you can make it more light colors if you want and put it here and make sure this particular change to clockwise if I play see here if it is both are spinning in opposite direction 
so likewise if you want again more you can just select ctrl d you can put it someone here one more here and you can make it more a lighter color shape outline make it no outline and if i play you can see here but again this also you can change the direction that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye